Okay, here I am as a proper influencer at the fantastic Victoria Falls River Lodge. And in the background, right there, those are warthogs. And interestingly enough, there was a big three meter crocodile sitting just on that little point earlier on today. And then I've got to show you this, this is really cool. We might be embracing cold plungers because that's what influencers do, cold plunge. And then a nice little shower outdoors or a double shower and a bath outdoors and then just out of interest sake, this video is about um, how to aqua run by the way but I just got to show you this so that tree there's a whole lot of baboons and they made a big noise and then we found leopard spoil just there that's leopard tracks so it's all going down in the most amazing um, Victoria Falls and then here's the this is the big lake well, that's actually just a river, the Zambezi River, and then down there, around the corner, is um, the Vic Falls, which was magnificent. We went there this morning. Okay, so aqua running. That's my intro. <laughs> I don't know. Don't, don't, don't judge, hey? Because if you were watching a podcast that you'd have had to listen to about head blow mattresses and athletic greens or something. Okay, aqua jogging. Deep water aqua jogging, if you're really, really injured, is fantastic for repatterning your fascia. And you can also learn the technique and shape of running. The thing about aqua jogging is when you get out of aqua jogging, you start running on the land, you can really, really have a hard time with your calves and Achilles in the beginning. Okay, so we kind of want to prep for that. Don't try and run in the water. Don't try and get anywhere in the water. You might, so you can use a pool noodle underneath your arms to, to float if you don't have an aqua belt or a jogging belt. We can use a flotation vice around your torso, the aqua jogging belts. Um, and sometimes it's helpful to actually tie yourself in one place. You don't go anywhere, right? Okay, there's two key components to aqua jogging that I like to focus on. One is when we run, you basically just drive your heel onto an imaginary floor. So I'm gonna pretend when I'm aqua jogging, you gotta see my feet. I'm gonna pretend that there's a, a floor underneath me and I'm just going to piston my leg down and heel down and sort of drive into my heel and you'll lengthen your calves and Achilles and when you get out of, and run back on land you're not going to have the calf and Achilles problems that are solved that are associated with aqua jogging okay so it's just a piston there we're attaching our arms to our body so that our torso moves in a connected pattern because this is more about fascia and we're just practicing this movement obviously you need to do it on both sides right just drive into your heel belly button chest points towards the front leg drive into your heel and you're obviously doing it you aqua jogging pretty much like this and then after a while you can use your hands initially you might find you're sort of all wonky and losing balance and need to use your arms to balance and then as you tidy up it's very very good for your running economy um, you know as you get used to it and also too is don't chase cadence so initially you can find that your cadence is pretty slow running in the water don't worry about your cadence just get that movement pattern and feel big fascia connections um, think bones not muscles um, and you can really really get a sense of big multi-planar joints connection through your body which is fantastic for your running very good for strengthening and opening up your core your diaphragm your breath loosening up your hips fantastic okay so you do that most of the time so let's say on a scale you can do five minutes of driving into your heel then what i like to do is practice the follow-through running so relax your ankle open up the front of your ankle and you just drive into your hips so you're practicing the follow-through of your running and so from the front it'll look like this okay so you're trying to create these big fascial connections through your body in this shape you'll almost certainly find your glute firing and it's very very good at mobilizing your hips and sort of giving you that wonderful follow-through that you need when you're running that so many people especially triathletes miss because running tends to be so front based biased okay and if you've been working on cadence or picking your feet up off the ground if you've got tight ankles that all goes away if you're rehabilitating your hips you need that extension with rotation remember hips need to internally rotate to have full extension so this is balance look at the alignment of my body as i come square you start to externally rotate your hip you can flare your foot so you can use aqua running to basically smooth out all of that drama so that's how to aqua run and um yeah i hope you one day i was blessed as i am to um, be at a magnificent location like this in amongst wildlife um so hippo kudu, bushbuck, parlor, crocodile, pumbas. <laughs> Hopefully we get to see the big four here. 
um, the elephants should come through soon and yeah it's just spect spectacular feeling really blessed and yeah I might even hop in the cold plunge tomorrow okay take care everyone